Hello everyone, this is Samuel from the Pioneer Library System, back with another video in our series on how to play chess. Today we're going to talk about Stalemate. Stalemate is when a player has no legal moves available to them and their king is not in check. So I'm going to go through a couple examples so you can get a feel for what it looks like. I think this is actually a common stalemate position here pictured before us. Very often it happens with a king and queen versus king, especially at the beginning level. So white naturally wants to put its queen here on g3 because that would be checkmate. Unfortunately, a natural looking move like queen to f2 ends the game in a draw because of a stalemate, because the black king has no legal square it can move to. Kings can't occupy adjacent squares because that would be putting them into check. So these three squares were already taken. This square was already taken by the queen on the second rank. And now the four, h4 is taken because of the queen's diagonal movement. So black has no legal moves and the game ends in a draw. Likewise, if you have a king and pawn versus king ending, very frequently, <clears throat> especially at the beginning level, people will push their pawns and get their king behind. You want the king to actually lead the pawn to the promoting rank. And this is a position that often results from that, in that the king now is trapped on e1 square because the pawn cuts off its movements to the side and the king cuts off its movements diagonally. And of course, it can't capture the pawn. Here's an example of one that happens when there are more than just the king, kings and maybe one piece on the board. So here, white moved the pawn to e6. And all black has to do in this position is move the queen to and it's checkmate because this escape square here is covered by the knight. Unfortunately, black played pawn takes, and now the knight can't move because it's pinned to the king. This pawn can't move because it's blocked behind the king, and the king has no available squares to it. So this game ended in a draw due to stalemate. And if you want to avoid stalemate, they usually happen in the end game. And so you might want to find a book on how to play in games. And fortunately, Hoopla has a couple titles. There's How to Play Chess Endings by Eugene nosko Borofsky. That's sort of just a manual, and it kind of goes through the best way to play the various in games that arise in chess games. So that would be another good place to start if you want to explore that avenue of the game. Thank you for, for stopping by and watching this video. Next time, we'll talk about threefold repetition. I'll see you then. Thank you.